Hi, welcome to Marriage from Heaven Boot Camp. We are in secret number five, day 19, Friendship Forever. Let me just say, since you're going to be spending a lifetime yeah. with your spouse, and what's a lifetime? That's a couple of decades, hopefully, right? Since you're going to be spending that much time with your spouse, one of the fundamental foundations of that relationship is for you guys to be friends. You got to be friendship. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's the foundation of any great relationship. You That's know? right. You got to be friends. You got to like each other, not just love each other. You got to like, you know, certain things about your spouse. You got to learn how to like some things about them. You got to learn to build relationship together. Because at the end of the day, sometimes your love might fail. Wow. But the friendship will carry the relationship when the love get weak or get threatened or whatever wow. happens to it, you know. And friendship also helps to put a glue into your relationship as well. Mm -hmm. We learned that the secret to having a strong, healthy, and passionate marriage is friendship. You know, so take time to be the friend of your spouse. Take time to be their best friends. Don't allow your spouse to have a best friend outside of you because you don't want to spend the time to develop that relationship. Take the time to learn your spouse. Take the time to be their best friend. Take the time to listen to them. Be patient when they talk. Don't interrupt them. Make it easy for them to communicate with their friend. Another thing we learn too about friendship is this. It, friends, the friends, friends might fight, but they come together. Yeah. Friends, they forgive. Friends, they, they love each other. Friends, they stick to each other. Even the Bible says a friend that sticks closer Close than a brother. brother. So be a friend to your spouse. Be friendly. Be, be kind. The Bible says either will have friends, she also show, show themselves friendly. friendly. So be a friend. Be their best friend. And you're going to see that your marriage is going to be really, really awesome. What do you, what do you have to add to And that? one of the things that I say to this in order, so how do you build a friendship? Because many times couples come together because of love. They fell in love. And that's all great and good. But one thing that you can do to build a friendship is to date. Yeah. Go out. Yes. Dating while married. It is yes. a real thing. Go out. And here's the thing. One uh, one week, Ooh, do what be, you're... That should be the book, the title of a book. Dating, Dating while, while married. married. That is good. I like, I like it too. Maybe it's a small ebook or something. Yeah, that'd be cool. Right now, because, okay? And it's a really great principle yeah, because Dating while married. If, wow. I do, if we do something that, we do something that I predominantly like mm -hmm. and you may not like it that much, mm -hmm. You're still going to figure out a way to enjoy yourself in the moment without mm. disappointing me and making me feel like, well, let's just go home. Yeah. Right? And that's yeah. what friends do. I may not like everything you do, but because you're my friend, I'm going to stick it out. And maybe I'll see a side of you I've never seen mm. before. I'll learn something about you I didn't know before. Mm. And then vice versa. We do something that you mm. predominantly like to do. I may not be a fan of it, but mm. I'm a fan because my friend is a fan. Mm -hmm. And so now I start to see what he likes and how he expresses himself and the joy and all of that great. Like, I'd love to hear my husband laugh and, and be joyful. Nice. It brings joy to my heart mm -hmm. and it frees me up to feel joy as well. Mm -hmm. So, but the reason why is because he is my friend and my, I want my friend to be enjoying life and I want my friend to enjoy life with me. Mm -hmm. And that's what builds love and compassion.